Hi everyone, I'm Samantha, an alumnus of NTU Maritime Studies. As the holidays are coming up, I'm here at NTU to catch up with my ex-lecturer. Hi Samantha, long time no see. How's Hi, life? I'm doing okay. Yeah, it's um, good. Because the Christmas is like coming soon, so I actually got you a little gift. Wow, that's very thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. How are you doing now, by the way? Um, I'm doing well. So after graduation this year, I actually joined Cargill Ocean Transportation as a commercial management trainee. Captain Tan was actually one of my lecturers at NTU Maritime Studies. So when I first met you, you I actually thought that you were as fierce as the captain. Uh, but after three years in NTU Maritime Studies, I realized that uh, behind your fierce appearance, you were actually extremely caring and passionate about the maritime industry. And you always shared things that are beyond the textbooks, and you also go an extra mile for the students as well. So I remember there was once for my FYP, um, I think three days before the submission date, my computer crashed and I lost like close to 30% of my work but then you gave me like a bit extra time to uh, finish the draft of the submission. So yeah, I was very thankful for that. Well, I remember you as a very energetic and outgoing <laughs> character. You know? And uh, most importantly, I think I appreciate your leadership when you were present in Maritime Business Society and with all those good track records of achievements, wow, that was fantastic. Yes, I still remember that ITP experiential trip to Perth. Yeah. Oh, that was a nice trip. It was plenty of fun and laughter, especially you. You were the live wire among your peers. Yeah, I think it was very fun. Uh, I remember a funny moment where we visited the Curtin University and then you accidentally left your charger at one of the lecturer room. Yeah, so one of our like classmates actually commented and said that you can only navigate at sea, not on land. Oh yeah, that, that was that was really a blunder. <laughs> it was quite funny. <laughs> but I think apart from all the memorable times and the fun times we had, I think that I also learned a lot during the briefing, especially at the Bossat Mine and the BP Kinana refinery as well. That's yeah. Let's go, let's go. I have to thank many of my seniors whom I stay very close in touch with. So I got to learn more about the Kagyo Ocean Transportation through one of our alumni as well, uh, Cheng Fan. So she came down to the uh, Maritime Business Society networking event and that's how I met her. And then she actually gave us a very good overview of what Kagyo Ocean Transportation is like. So it, it, she was the one who actually motivated me to try for the uh, management role, yeah. But ultimately, the one who gave me the final boost is still you, Captain Tan, because you gave me words of affirmation and encouragement and um, motivating me to try for the interview as well. That's great. In fact, I've supported you simply because the Singapore maritime industry is really lacking in local talents, especially in management roles. And I've been working very hard with MP and SMF in this aspect to promote the young to join the maritime industry. Ciao! I think in school, I'm mostly only accountable to myself but at work, I know that the work that I produce will directly affect my colleagues and the project as well. But I still think that work is actually quite thrilling, in fact more thrilling than school because I get to maneuver around um, like undefined parameters and I'm also able to constantly step out of my comfort zone and challenge myself into new areas of school. Mm. Now that you're working, you realise that you really face the realities out there. They can be very harsh at times. That is the reason why you know I always share my experiences, uh, especially uh, in real life and in practical aspect. Being book smart is not enough. You really need to face adversities and be able to take challenges as you move on. So, are there any interesting projects that you're working on now? One interesting project I'm working on is the OT analytics, where I actually exposed to try out new things such as programming and visualization tools such as Tableau as well. Then I have another project that is working on decarbonization and supply chain resilience. So I'm actually exposed to many new uh, upcoming technologies uh, that we can use to make the maritime industry more efficient. Oh, that's cool. Looks like you're really thriving in Kagyo, yeah? Yeah. Thank you very much Maritime Singapore Connect Office for having us here today. So to Captain Tan, I just want to say thank you very much for all your kind support and encouragement during university and as well as after graduation as well. You know, especially when times is a bit hard during the COVID period. Yeah. So one of the uh, words of encouragement that I remember until today is you saying that life is a learning journey 
and it is okay to make mistakes. So I think this has stuck with me and helped me go through the tough period as well. I'm glad to hear that. I say this not only to you, but also to all the students out there. Firstly, do not be afraid to take up new challenges. Second, don't stay in your comfort zone too long. Venture out there and take up new challenges. And lastly, learning never stops. Well, thank you so much for coming down. Do send my best regards to everybody out there and hopefully we can catch up for a drink. Yep, hopefully. Wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. Yeah, hopefully Happy New Year. after phase three, you know, we can actually meet up for drinks as well. That's thank cool. Thank you very much, Nathan. Right.